we're going to do our VBS crafts for today. It is day one. We're so excited to be with you today. And unfortunately, we can't be there in your backyard with you. But we're going to show you how to do these crafts. So in your box, you're going to find a little bag that says day one. This is your day one craft. So each one of you kids are going to have one of this. So you're going to open it up. We're going to make washer bracelets. So how you do that is there's these pieces of string in your bag. You're going to take them apart. There's four pieces of string. You take them apart so that there's two. And what you do is you're going to put the string, fold it in half, and feed that through the middle of your washer, just like this, so that there's a loop on one side of the washer and four pieces of string on the other side. You're going to put the four pieces of string through the loop, just like that, and it'll look like that on one side. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. So you're going to fold your string in half again. You're going to put the loop end through the middle of your washer. You're going to feed that through. And then you're going to take the ends of the string that have the four exposed ends that aren't the loop ends. You're going to put that through the middle of the loop, just like this. And you'll have, now you'll have a string with two sides like this. And then you're going to, you can either, you can do it two ways if you want. You can just take this and you can tie it to your wrist if you want. Or if you want to be super fancy, you put the four sides of the string through one side of the bead facing one way, just like this. So like that. So you'll feed the bead onto one side and then you'll put it around your wrist. If I had another spare wrist, I would show you. But you'll take the other side of the string that doesn't have the bead on it and you'll put it through the bead the opposite way. If I can get it here. You might have to lick it and to put it through. There you go. So once you have those pieces of string through the other side, it'll create kind of a closure, as you can see here. And then the bead will act as like a little thing, and you can just, then you can tie it around the bead around your child's wrist. So that is our first craft for today. As well, if you like, you can also write on your washer. You can write your name, a word, the memory verse reference for today, anything you want really, and you can just customize it however you want. We hope you guys have fun with this craft, and we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's craft. Bye! Hi everyone, welcome to our day two craft. Today what we're going to be making is called a galvanized cross. So in your box, you're going to find this bag that says day two on it. That's our craft for today. Inside, it has a piece of foam, a piece of tin foil, some super fun jewels, and a magnet strip. Now we hope at home that you have scissors and a glue stick because you're going to need these for this craft too. But we figured you'd have them at home because everyone has these. So if not, run to the store and grab them because you'll need them for today. So on our, on our piece of foam, we're going to draw a cross. I drew mine ahead of time so that this video wouldn't be 10 hours long. But anyways, on your piece of foam, draw a cross. What we are going to do is we are going to glue our tin foil onto our cross. But we're going to cut out our cross first. Let's, so let's cut this out. This is a super fun craft. We picked these all out because they were super easy and we figured you would be able to do this at home without needing much explanation. But if you're watching this video, you're making my day, so thank you. Um, yeah. So once you have your cross cut out, you're gonna take your glue stick and you're gonna glue your tin foil onto your cross, just like this, right on there so that your cross is on your tin foil. Now you can cut your cross out of the tin foil. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then after we get this tin foil cut, you'll be able to decorate it 
however you'd like. Now in the instructions they say to use a pencil or your finger or some kind of thing to kind of etch into the tin foil. If you want to do that, go more than a head. Feel free to do help this however you'd like. It's your backyard, it's your VBS. You run it how you would like. So yeah, once you have your cross cut out, I have a pencil here. And I'm just going to use the eraser end of the pencil and I'm going to draw some marks on it so that it looks kind of construction-y, like I'm pressing into it. Draw some lines on there, some zigzags. So I don't know if you can see that on the camera. It has those lines on it. And I'm going to put some of my fun jewels on here, like that. And there. Put some of these ones on too because they're super fun. These ones right here. And so there we go. There's our little demo. Now you're going to take your magnet strip and you're just going to peel the white paper off of it and you're going to stick that to the back of the foam and then you can hang these on your fridge. And this is a great reminder that Jesus died on the cross for us because we have our little crosses on our fridge. This is our craft for day two. We hope to see you tomorrow for day three. See ya. Hi everyone, it's me, Lauren. I'm here to demonstrate our day three craft. It's super fun, we're super glad you're here. This one is super easy and it has a lot of freestyling in it. So in this craft, you can decorate your chalkboard with crayons or markers and there's stickers in your day three bag that you can use to put all over your chalkboard. So we hope you have fun with this. Um, we'd love to see how you decorate these and how unique they are. So this is our day three craft and just have fun with it. See you guys tomorrow for day four. Hi everyone, welcome to our day four craft. We're super excited. We hope you guys are having so much fun in your VBSs. We hope that you're learning so much about God and who he is and how much he loves us. And our craft for today is a trivet. So it's kind of like a cup holder, kind of like a whatever you want it to be. So in your day four bag, you're gonna find a wooden coaster like thing that looks like this. You're gonna find a piece of felt and some cool rocky things, rock gems, whatever you wanna call them. So you're gonna need some glue for today's craft. Um, you're going to start off by taking your piece of felt and laying it down flat and then gluing your wooden thing onto the piece of felt just like that. And then we are going to glue all of these gems onto here. For the sake of time, I'm not, I'm not gonna glue them on because that would be super time consuming, but we hope you guys are learning so much about who God is and how much he loves you and that our stories are wonderful and exciting and fresh. We hope you're having fun with those. So this is what your coaster will kind of turn out looking like. And if you want to, you can cut the felt out in a circle. If not, you can just keep it a square. You can do whatever you want. If you want to do a fun zigzag pattern around, if you want to color your piece of wood before you use it, feel more than free to do whatever you feel like doing and whatever your leaders or parents who are leading you want to do. Just have fun with this. This is all for you guys. We hope that you guys are able to get the hang of these really easily and that they're fun. So we'll see you tomorrow for day five. Hey everyone, welcome to our last day of crafting. In our day five bag of crafts, you're gonna find a bunch of just silver nuts and bolts and fun things like that. So I'm gonna explain to you what we're making today and it's a fidget spinner, which is super fun. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this guy. So first off, you're gonna take this big screw that's in there, it looks like this. You're gonna take that out of your thing, out of your bag and the other things you can just dump in front of you. Now we are gonna be making a little construction person today out of um, these nuts and bolts and it's a fidget spinner. So if you want, you can play with this while you're going places and you can just twirl the things around. You'll, it'll be make more sense once I demonstrate it for you. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screw and it has the big knobby part at the bottom. That is gonna be our base. Then you're gonna take one of your it's called a wing nut because it looks like it has wings on the side like this. You're going to take that and you're going to turn them upside down 
so that the wings are pointing down and you're going to screw that onto your screw. It may take a little time, but that's all part of our fidget spinner experience. So I'm going to, oh, this is a long bolt. We're going to screw him down right there, just like a construction worker would if they were on the job. And once we have this further down, we'll be able to put our next pieces on. So you want to get this part as close to the bottom as you can because these wings that hang down are going to be the legs of our construction worker. So. There you go, so you can kind of see that they have legs there. Now you're gonna take the two pieces that are the same and they kind of just look like little octagons and they have a hole in the middle. Those are gonna be the body of our construction worker. So now you're gonna screw those on. They're just gonna go right down there in between the legs. You can make your construction worker have as long a body as you want really because all he needs is his arms and his head on next. So we're going to screw those down so that now your craft should look something like this. I hope you can all see that. And now we're going to add our arms to our construction worker. So we're going to take the other wing nut, that's this guy, he looks like he has wings, and you're going to put it on so that the wings are facing up. So the opposite of what we just did. So these ones are facing down, now you're going to put it so that they're facing up and you're just going to screw that on there like that. So now our construction worker kind of looks like this. And the last thing we need to do is put on his head and his helmet. So this is called a calf nut, or Americans like to call it an acorn nut because it looks just like an acorn. But it also looks like a construction worker's helmet. So we're going to put that on our top of our screw and we're going to screw it on nice and tight so that it stays just like that and there we go there we have our construction worker fidget spinner so if you want throughout the day or whenever to keep your craft you're gonna you can just use these and you can swirl them up and down and you can use it to fidget with whenever you're feeling bored we hope you guys have had such a fun week at VBS and that you've learned a lot and that you've been having a lot of fun. We are super sad that we can't be with you to do this, but we hope we can visit some of you and that um, our videos that we're doing, our stories that Jill and I are doing are super fun for you and you're liking that. We hope you guys are having the best time and that you're having a really good, safe summer. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.